Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today I'm going to show you something very awesome and that is the hybrid corner cannon. So normally you could just use a hybrid cannon to just go for a wall or you'd use a corner cannon to just pretty much destroy the edge of a wall because people haven't put water there. But today there are corner cannons absolutely everywhere and I've made diagonal cannons before. So today I've made an extremely accurate hybrid corner cannon. So this thing is absolutely ridiculous, mostly because it is 100% accurate all the time and it can shoot really as far as you like it to. And it's just really, really strong at that. And the second great point about this thing is if you don't want a hybrid, you don't want to waste your sand, you can just use it as a normal corner cannon, which is just great. So this would be the one corner cannon I'd recommend, or the diagonal TNT cannon over any other ones I've done, because this design is just quite a lot better and it's quite more resource friendly. The perks, there is actually no real downside to this because, except for the resources, it does use a bit of TNT. But it's really small, really compact, and works really well on just some basic fundamental mechanics. So anyway, let's take a look at this thing in action. So what we have here is a wall that is concave, but this also works on convex, which just means it's pointing on the other side, so that means that this will be facing that way and that will be facing that way. And the wall will pretty much be down here and you won't have a water stream if you're just using a general water cannon. But I just wanted to use this so you can see that this is one side and then this is the other side and it's going to shoot directly in the middle every time. And then down here it's completely diagonal all the way along to the cannon. So this is roughly 30 blocks away but since it's diagonal it's technically 60 because it's left right left right. But it doesn't matter. So anyway, we are currently 1.8.9, but this works exactly the same or very similarly in all 1.8 versions, and it works really well in 1.72. So if we press the button here, the TNT gets dispensed here, it gets all pushed into one corner, TNT gets dispensed in sand, and then gets fired all the way over here, and then it blows up. You, s you could see by there that though, that the sand and TNT don't fire at the same range, which is actually completely fine, because if you're firing at a corner wall, even if it's con convex, it will still fall to the same spot. If you want to change the timing on it, it can be an issue, but for the most part, it's completely fine. It's just the way of how sand works when you're trying to fight, fire it diagonally. So as you can see, this thing is just a monster. It is deadly accurate and will fire exactly that way every time because of how this works, and I'm going to explain that now in the redstone. <laughs> So what we have here is just our machine. I've just changed this to a f from a fence to a slab because it honestly doesn't matter what you use. Normally in 1.8.8 or 9 it sort of matters, but in the current version it doesn't really matter too much. So that's completely fine. So what we have here is the button and this goes off into two directions. The first thing it does is it activates all these 12 dispensers which are creates a total amount of 12 TNT, and then this water pushes all the TNT into a very, very tight clump that is all completely together at this very back point. There's the, they are all 0.98 blocks against this thing, so it's 0.2 blocks out this way, or 0.02 out this way, and 0.0 out to this way. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. It just pretty much means that all the TNT is in this one block here. So that means they are all gonna be in that same block, so when they go this way, the, the propellant or anything else is going to fire exactly 45 degrees, which is exactly what you want. So what we have next is we've got three repeaters that counts as 12 ticks and then to a redstone torch. But as you can see, that is extended. So what happens when you press the button, this turns off. So this thing over here turns off and this allows us to add 15 extra ticks without having to add four repeaters, which is really, really nice. So after that, then this piston will retract and then it'll push the thing. And then to stop, to negate the actual system of these two redstone torches from affecting this dispenser, because I've, I didn't do that and this would activate too late, I just add another redstone torch and added four more ticks of delay. So then this thing fires off, but it can go really long range before it actually explodes. And the great thing about this is it's in a six by five area, which is extremely compact for a corner cannon let alone a hybrid corner cannon. So I'm very proud of this. And as you can see, it is really quite simple and it actually doesn't use that many resources. If you're wondering why we have these pillars at the edges here, it is just so that all the, so the TNT from these dispensers doesn't go on the side because then it'll just blow up the cannon and you wouldn't have a fun time. Also another thing you can do is you can add slabs or a block 
on this level here so that way the dispenser is slightly more accurate because it always bobs up before it goes down and that way the sand won't hit the top bit and that just makes it even more accurate because if you don't do that it might be one block off which honestly is a real big pain when you're trying to deal with an accuracy weapon. But anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. So now onto the tutorial, so what you're going to need is a 5x6 area with this glass block representing where no blocks will be placed at all, so if you need an extra space, there's an extra block there. But anyway, you're going to need some building blocks, 12 dispensers, 7 redstone, 6 redstone repeaters, 2 redstone torches, a piston, a water source block, a wooden button, has to be wooden, and a slab or a fence and push plate as well as some TNT and sand. To start with, we're going to place down our main dispenser, so what, what you want to do is make a 2x3 area of dispensers here, and then another 2x3 area of dispensers here. Now you want to just put a block here and a block here, followed by blocks here and here. And the reason for this is to stop the actual things from bouncing around. If you really want to, you can make these blocks slabs here, and the top one of this a slab if you want, if you just want to make it look a little bit neater, but it doesn't really matter. And then you want to place your slab at the end here. So this is going to be your main area, then you want to place a water source block down here in the very front corner. And then after that, you want to come around the back here, place a block here, and add redstone on top of all the dispensers. After that, you then want to place temporary blocks along the back here, and a block up the top here, and this is where your button is going to be going. After that, you want to place down three redstone repeaters set to four text delay with a, with a block in front of it and your redstone torch on top of it like so. After that, you want to place two more blocks here with redstone repeaters going into them, both set to four text delay with another block here and a redstone torch on the side. Then you want a piston on the top like so and then you want to go along the side here and you actually want to then place down another block here with redstone pair set to full text delay and a dispenser underneath. Actually the piston doesn't go on top, it does go underneath. So that's your main thing there and this is pretty much all you have to do. All you have to do now is fill up your dispensers with TNT and stick sand on top of this piston and then after you press the button you should have yourself a working cannon. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time with TNT Madness.